Welcome into this week's edition of the Ohio Report brought to you by the U.S. Marines. I'm Brandon Taylor here for TriStateFootball.com. And as the playoffs are winding down, getting closer to the state championship games, let's first take a look at some seniors who deserve a salute after they had outstanding careers for their respective teams. Starting for Hamilton, they have a player who did an exceptional job on the defensive side of the ball at linebacker Marcus Oliver for Hamilton. Already has three offers from Miami, Cincinnati, and Indiana. Looking for more as he was voted the 2012 GMC Defensive Player of the Year. Also, first team all GMC linebacker who received that honor twice in his career, his junior and senior year. Moving over to the GCL South, we have a player who did a phenomenal job as he set the record for receptions in a season. 53 is what Max Mazza caught for the Elder Panthers this year. Only 5'11, 180. Uh, sat behind ramps that are uh, as targets from his quarterback, but Max Mazza had a fantastic career. He also had one of the longest kick returns in GCL South history, 97 yards against a powerhouse in Ohio, Lakewood St. Ed's, earlier in Week 4. He was an honor honorable mention on the Ohio All-Southwest District team and also first team All-GCL South. Moving over to the big game for the regional finals this week, starting with that team that beat Elder, the Coleraine Cardinals, who are 12-0, face the number three ranked Moeller Crusaders, who are 9-3, just beating Lakota East, as Coleraine just beat Elder. They play at 7.30 on Saturday night at Nippert Stadium, and this game is going to be a great one, as Coleraine just beat Elder in overtime, 35-34, as the Crusaders from Moeller had an easier time against Lakota East. They'll have a tough one against top-ranked Coleraine Cardinals this week. Moving down to Division Two. Top-ranked Turpin stays undefeated as they move into the regional finals. This game will be Friday night at Kings High School as they face a dangerous Trout of Madison team who, although has two losses, uh, myself and Dan Classings marked them as one of the top teams in Ohio. Even though there's two losses, they could uh, beat Turpin. But respect to two of the Spartans have been undefeated all season and really show a lot of character and could very well move on out of Cincinnati for these regional finals. Moving down to... Uh, Division 4, you got Clint Massey, who is number 1, 12 0. Fantastic season they have up north as they face Milton Union, who just handled Norwood in the regional semifinals. That game will be Friday night also at Centerville High School. For more news on high school football, don't forget to check out TristyFootball.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at TSFootball.